So let's consider what's called direct proportion. So what happens here is you have a cause and effect relationship. I think that's going to be effect, there we go, cause and effect. And the idea is this, as the cause increases, the effect increases. This is direct proportion. So what we're going to do, go through an example. Suppose we have the following. Let's say you're studying for, say, your exam. And let's say you study two hours, gives you 83% on the exam. So if two hours results in 83%, well, how long do you need to study to get 100%? Now, in real life, this might not be the best approach because as you study longer, um, you know, you might run into like, you know, you get kind of maybe bored or burned out a little bit. So it's good to take a break. So this might not be the, the best way to approach this, but it could give you some idea. So how do we do this? Well, direct proportion works the following. Let's say, so we actually have two causes and effects here. There's the two hours. And the effect is at 83% on the test. We don't know the number of hours that we would need, though, to get for the cause to get the effect of 100%. So how do we set this up as a proportion? For direct proportion, it's going to be the following. So here we have cause one leads to effect one, and cause two leads to effect two then the proportion we're going to use is C1 equals E1, and then below C1, we'll put C2, below E1, we'll put E2. Or another way of thinking about it, you can think of it as C1 goes to E1, C2 goes to E2. You could also think of it as C1 over C2, E1 over E2. The ratio of the causes equals ratio of the effects. And so this is going to be the formula we're going to want to hang on to for setting up our proportion. All right, so let's solve this question. Let's get some a little bit of a, a clue here. So for the cause one, we'll call that two. Cause two is the hours. We don't have that one. This one is effect one, and this is the desired effect two. So how do we solve this? Well, once again, we're going to use cross multiplication. And to use cross multiplication, I'm just looking, trying to get my pen here. Here it is. Do this. And so two times 100 equals 83 times H. So this will be 200, 83H. So divide both sides by 83. So the 83 cancels here. You have 200 divided by 83 is about 2.5. Well, I'll put down all the digits that I have, 2.0964 
equals h. Or if I round to the hundreds place, 2.41 or 2 and 41 hundreds. So 0.41, well, it's less than a whole hour. So this is two hours and then a fraction of an hour or some part of an hour. So if I take 0.41 times, say, 60 minutes, it's about 24 or 25 minutes. So roughly getting close to two and a half hours would get you 100%. Is this actually true? Does this really work out this way? I don't know. But if you can gain knowledge at the same rate and that doesn't change and the knowledge is you're studying is consistent in its intensity or difficulty to learn, then this probably would have some accuracy. But truth is when you study for a test, some parts are going to be easier than others. You sometimes get kind of tired and you'll probably need to study maybe longer than that. But I'd rather you studied longer than study too short. Though I guess at some point you'll memorize everything or learn everything and then you don't need to study anymore. But anyway, assuming that again, the knowledge is consistently distributed in difficulty and you're not getting tired, this would suggest you need to study almost two and a half hours to get that 100%. So anyway, that's the idea of direct proportion. And the key takeaway is this. Want to identify it. Are you dealing with a situation when there's a cause that increases the result as the effect also increases? And you'll have a first cause, a first effect, a second cause, and a second effect. One of these will be unknown. It'll be a variable. And so you'll set up your proportion C1 over C2, E1 over E2. Or this leads to this, and this leads to that. And again, one of these will be unknown. And then solve it using cross multiplication. So that's it for direct proportion. Any questions, let me know.